You know, when I first came to this country from Cuba, Juan was so happy to be around me. His father was nowhere to be seen, you know? And uh, I was like the father figure in his life. Salud. And you know, he was always asking me, Abuelo, can you tell me a story about Cuba? And of course I would tell him stories, especially uh, when the revolution first started, Fidel Castro coming into Havana, he loved all of that. He absolutely loved all of that. But you know, oh, the funniest one was one night I was putting him to bed and he goes, Abuelo, show me a map of Cuba. And of course I brought him a map of Cuba. Then I told him the story, you know what they say. Cuba is like a big alligator sitting in the Caribbean. I knew that he had loved that. He was just like beside himself. I knew it. I knew it. So the next morning, his mother was working a double shift, so I said, I'm going to go and pick him, pick him up from school today. I showed up at the school, and there he was coming out the door with two friends. He was so excited to see me. And he goes, Abuelo, can you tell these guys a story? You don't, they don't believe me. They think I'm a liar. What story are you talking about, Juan? And he goes, the story of when you were living on an alligator in the Caribbean. Can you imagine? He was believing the story. Que inocente. Se lo creyó. Oh, my God. I was just I, hysterically laughing because I couldn't believe that he had believed that story. He did it. He believed that story. Can you imagine? The kid believed it. <laughs> you know what I'm here for, right? I know. Where is it? It's in his room, behind the dresser there, in the wall. Why did you kill my grandma? Why? Your grandson had a problem with the way I ran things. That's why he had to pay the consequences. You took the last thing I had. Yeah, y ahora qué? Adiós, abuelo. <laughs>